Those were faces and voices of hapless and seemingly hopeless women and female children in a refugee camp in Port Loco, a neighboring town in war-ravaged Sierra Leone in 2001. Obviously battered and ravaged, these women and children fought as soldiers in a war that left their country as battered and ravaged as they were. They were not alone in their state of hopelessness. Their husbands and male children also wore the same shoes and they watched the rape of their country by rebels whose recurrent bullets kept decimating the city and plunging it into a hopeless city. However, hope and succor for these victims of war came from Nigeria through the singular efforts of one man who defied warnings and pleas, who was unmindful of the consequences of entering the lion's den and who stood shoulder high above his contemporaries, extending goodwill, friendship and assistance to his fellow Africans. That man is Bashon Ayobamidele Momodu who defied all odds and invited his friends to a memorable but historic five-day visit to Freetown, Sierra Leone. We have come from Nigeria. We represent some of the biggest media houses in Nigeria. Nigeria. We have come to show our support and solidarity for the plight of Sierra Leoneans. And there, the degree of human suffering in Sierra Leone because of the war is very unfortunate and highly regrettable. <laughs> Uh, we are the first set of journalists to visit Sierra Leone after the war. When we were coming, people told us, what are you going to do there? But we said, you are our own people. Such is the candor and spirit of this Nigerian who is never afraid to tread where angels fear to tread. The better part of his 50 years on earth had been dedicated to bonding friendships, celebrating his country, Nigeria in particular, and Africa in general, and pursuing global goals in the interest of the common man. The team paid solidarity visits to the then Nigerian High Commissioner to Sierra Leone, Mr. Azenge, and also to Ambassador Olu Adeniji, who at that time headed the largest United Nations mission comprising 17,000 soldiers. The team also visited the then president of Sierra Leone, Tijan Kaba, a lawyer come economist who served the United Nations for 22 years and one time head of state, Johnny Paul Koroma. Ayoba Midele Momodu, who is fondly called Bob D by friends and admirers and his team proceeded to Mange in a fearsome convoy comprising three armored tanks and jeeps loaded with fully armed soldiers as bodyguards. It was a journey into the land of the unknown at a critical time in the history of that nation. But Dele Momodu was undeterred, risking his life and that of others, and off they went to the lion's den. I believe if I go back to my district, Cambia, I would have to relay the message that I was fortunate enough because, thank God, it's a privilege for my journey. I am just fortunate enough to be in the midst of these people. You who are matter in the society, you would have to talk to people, you would have to talk to the whole world that Sierra Leone, come what may, this time around, this. This, in fact, is what we are talking now, and not guns any longer. I am sitting here as a civilian. 
Uh, on behalf of my colleagues from Nigeria, uh, we would like to thank you for receiving us so warmly and for being so forthright in your analysis of the situation. Uh, I believe that after rain comes sunshine, there is no doubt that once we can keep the peace in place, Sierra Leone will be a better place again. Dele Momodu spoke with the young and the old. He caressed the infant. He was well received by the men and women, and the neglected victims of war were glad that this global icon came to their rescue, assuring them of a better tomorrow. Historic about the five day visit of Dili Momodu to Sierra Leone was his fraternization with the Nigerian soldiers. Momodu mingled, talked, and ate with them, and it was glaring that at last a Nigerian bothered about their welfare in a foreign land. A typical Dili Momodu, who is always so generous like his mentor, late Bashan Moshud Abiola, did not end his five day trip without donating foodstuffs to the hapless citizens of Sierra Leone. Uh, on behalf of my colleagues from Nigeria, uh, you'll be receiving the 20 bags of rice from us very shortly. Okay. To those who do not know the person behind the name Ayobamidele Momodu, his philanthropic gesture might have been news, but to those who have met him through his journalism sojourn, traversing the Guardian, Tribune, African Concord, The Sun, Fame, Classic, This Day, Radio Kudarat, and finally, Ovation, and who have also been ardent readers of his column, Pendulum. Dele Momodu has never minced words about his unrepentant desire to continue to give voice to the voiceless and hope to the hopeless.